Hi everyone, uh, I want to record this clip for explaining a little bit what it has been um, my workspace um, last maybe four years, probably five years. Um, but now I'm going to change it. Um, because of that I want to record that just describing a little bit what was the advantages and disadvantages of the configuration that I had. I think it could be quite interesting for someone because it's not a regular configuration as you are going to see just now. As you can see, it's a, it's a four screen desktop, four 23 inches screen, so four screens of 23 inches. Um, each of those it's HD, full HD. So in total I have a equivalent of uh, 4K. Mm. A particularity of that is uh, in the top two screens I'm running Windows. In the bottom two I'm running Linux. As you can see here I have two laptops. The top one is the Windows one. And the bottom one, it's the, the Linux one. Uh, as you can see, this one is a little bit old one. It's a Dell Studio XPS 13 inches. And it's not so bad, it's 12 core, um, 12 core 2.6, I think so. 12 core 2.6 um, with uh, 500 gigs of SSD and 8 gigs of RAM, so not bad at all at the end of the day but it may be seven years old. The other one is a Toshiba Portage. Um, it's um, i7 with four threads, or I think, yeah, four threads, two cores, uh, up to 2.6 gigs uh, as a maximum speed. The minimum one is 1.8 gigs, uh, 16 gigs of RAM, and again uh, 500 uh, gigs of uh, SSD. So not bad configuration. Uh, another peculiarity that I don't use so much is mm, the screen of the of the laptop. It's also available for dragging uh, Windows. But I, I don't use that so much. Maybe sometimes I put there, uh, I don't know, some music that I'm playing from YouTube or maybe the surveillance cameras, th things like that. But mm, it's not so relevant for the daily work. What it's more relevant is, uh, as you can see, with just one keyboard and one mouse, I can control both systems. This is because both of them have installed a Synergy. Synergy is a very old project, uh, currently in the version 2, but it's not very stable, that version, because of that they recommend to use the version 1.x. Um, and the idea with Synergy, uh, as I said, it's uh, with just one keyboard and mouse I can control both systems. Uh, then it means uh, I can, for example, now drag and drop uh, this window in both screens. Of course, I cannot drag and drop this window from the bottom to the top, neither vice versa, but uh, as you can see, just with the same mouse, you can move the cursor from bottom to top easily. Other thing that I can do is uh, copy and paste things. For example, here I have an editor. I can mark that, just copy it, go here, paste it, and here it is. Uh, then they share uh, the same clipboard, which is super useful. And I don't want to enlarge that a lot, but another shortcut that I have, which is so useful, because I spend most of my time playing with the Linux console, it's uh, in both places, just clicking F1, I can open a Linux uh, console. Okay, so just I click F1 again and it disappears. And here I press F1 again and it disappears. 
In both consoles I am using Viable. I will put the links of Synergy and Viable in below the video. Um, and then Viable which allows me to share the same Linux console uh, in both places and it's uh, super useful. This is a Windows 10 Professional. Uh, it has WSL installed, so it means I have a um, kind of Ubuntu shell available for working there. And it, I have to say, it's it's super useful. Okay. Um, this is mostly what uh, what I want to share about this workspace. Uh, the, in terms of pros, in terms of cons. Mm, what I can say is uh, Synergy is not always running as good as I want. I mean, sometimes I have problems in the clipboard, so I copy something or I cut something and later I go to paste in the same machine or in another machine and I have some problems. So a bit the, the clipboard is empty and because Synergy crashed in the background and it uh, has been restarted without notifying me anything and then I lost the contents of the clipboard so it's super uncomfortable this thing and it happens more often that I, that I, than I desire of course. Um, our thing is uh, again Synergy when I try to move from the controls from the displays sometimes it's stacked and it doesn't jam properly uh, of course, if I change the version of Synergy, this could improve, but later I have uh, some other issues. Uh, so, I mean, at the end of the day, mm, in the past, Synergy worked much better than today. Uh, and today it's a little bit annoying to, to play with Synergy all day, from the very early morning to, to late night. You're enchanted of Synergy. Um, all things rather than that. Uh, all maybe the, the, there are two two main reasons because I I'm going to, to change this workspace. Since it seems quite important, but it could be solved at the end of the day. Um, another re a very important reason, the, maybe the the most important reason, it's um, because of health. And you are going to say health? Yes. To be honest, this part is too high, and this part is too low. I mean, this position, because you are working, I don't know about what, in this position is super uncomfortable after some hours. Other reason is because of the corners, the left part and the right part, it's, it's too far. It's really difficult to read what you have there. So, at the end of the day, you don't use this part and uh, this part of the screen because it's too big at least at this distance maybe I can move the screens to the wall but in that case I have to increase the, the size of the, the phone because in the other way I cannot read what it what's there no? um, then this is a very important reason because of health okay uh, another thing it's uh, Quite important too, but not so much. But it, but it's very important. It's it's focus, focus, why focus? Because uh, depending on the task that you are working on, it's super super uh, very good profile. Okay, very good organization. I can, for example, have a console here, some code here maybe some web pages open for uh, manuals, references, tutorials and things like that. Uh, maybe here I have another browser with uh, the result of uh, something or with uh, remote controls or whatever, or maybe another console. So, there are some complex tasks that are super useful to have this configuration. But, uh, lately, um, because of my professional activities, it doesn't happen so often. What does it mean? It's uh, sometimes I have to be super focused on one thing. Maybe I need some uh, some manuals or some other stuff, but 
the most important thing is being super focused on one thing in, in, in a piece of code, in a document, whatever. And as you can see, uh, because of the configuration, I lost this part, this part of the workspace. And this is super relevant because at the end of the day, it's the most comfortable part for working because of my position in front of the desk. The desk. So it's a, a very important con. And as I said, uh, I jumped again to the to the first reason. It's I have to to, to focus my view um, too up or too low or too left or too right, and, and at the end of the day, uh, I feel tired. Okay. Then this is the end of the story. Um, I'm not going to to give you feedback about what's going on in in the evolution of this workspace and you are you you you'll have to wait a little bit until my next video where I'm going to describe um, my new my new workspace so I hope it it has been interesting for some of you and I appreciate your attention uh, if you liked it please subscribe to my YouTube channel if not Please tell me why and I will try to improve my explanations and maybe the video quality.